SAS Web Report Studio is a web-based ad hoc reporting application that utilizes the business logic contained within Information Maps that are created in Information Maps Studio. Reports developed in Web Report Studio are easily customizable and can utilize report level or data level or row-based security. Essentially, there are two user types that we will be um, discussing uh, applications for today. Um, the first user type is, is the database person uh, or the uh, SAS administrator. They would be using SAS Information Map Studio to generate the business logic and business terms uh, for the data whose fields, calculations, and naming conventions tend to be more IT-centric. This tool serves also as a single place that business rules are applied and made available to business users throughout the enterprise. The second user type are the report creators. They will be utilizing SAS Web Report Studio to generate uh, on-demand reports. One of the first steps to using the SAS Business Intelligent Tools for reporting is to create logical mappings from the reporting data to the SAS metadata structure. Tools like SAS Web Report Studio then use these logical mappings to display the business labels to report end users while still using the physical attributes of the data behind the scenes to access it. The mappings from physical attributes to business attributes and rules are called information maps and they can be created, edited, secured, and deleted from within SAS Information Map Studio. Users uh, who access SAS Information Map Studio are typically defined as the SAS administrators or database administrators for your organization. The first thing we will do in our SAS Information Map is to select what data or cubes we want to add to this map. These can simply be um, added by clicking the Insert Table or insert cube icons. We will now select the data tables that contain the data for this information map. You can select the shift key to select multiple tables. Once you have your physical data selected, you need to pick and choose what items you want to move over into your information map. Today we'll pick two items from names by selecting the shift key and choosing which items you'd like to include. You can also use the control key to pick different items and use the single arrow to move those over. So we'll select all the items from shoes. Then you can add folders uh, to reorganize the elements here. So we'll have one folder called measures and we'll click and move these items that are associated with measures into that measures folder. You can select subfolders under these. Then you can also use the up and down arrows to move items around, as well as just clicking and dragging them. Note that the organization structure within the example is much easier to read and faster for users to navigate through. For a small number of data elements, this might not uh, be as necessary, but for a large number of data items uh, represented in an information map, this is critical when navigating through Web Report Studio. All data elements within the SAS Information Map Studio are defined as either measures or categories. A measure is any data attribute which, upon which an arithmetic or statistical function can be applied, such as revenue or number of widgets. You'll see here that these are represented by the ruler icons. So number of stores, total sales, total returns, and total inventory are measures. Product, region, and subsidiary, however, are defined as character of values or categories. These can be numeric values, however, you are unable to perform measurements on these fields. So some instances where this is defined as a measure, but you do not want users to add, are items such as IDs. 
for instance, this numeric representation for a continent is classified currently as a measure. However, you do not want users to sum on that value. So if you right click and choose properties by choosing the category classification and selecting OK. In the same properties menu, you can go to classification formats and modify the format that is displayed for the users. You can add decimal points or you can use any other SAS format available. Custom formats are required to turn codes and keys into meaningful category variables. And for a user-defined formats to be accessible to SAS Information Map Studio, either a, a library lib name must be set to the location of the format, or the format search option must be used in the SAS v9 config file. Details on custom formats are located on the SAS website. Filters are created and used in Information Map Studio to subset data. Filters can be based off of category attribute values, like region equals Africa, or by comparing the aggregated amount for a measure, like revenue is greater than or equal to 1,000. Check the filter icon to create a new filter. The first thing you'll do is enter a name. Uh, for example, we'll enter region here. You can add description information, which is available uh, for the user. Then you'll select a data item that this uh, will be filtering from. You can choose various conditions. And then you can choose what type of filter you're applying. You can enter a value in this window. Uh, you can be prompted for a value to use in the filter. You can input an expression in this window. Or you can derive identity values. These are properties of a user uh, that can be used in a query like a username, user logic, identity group, etc. for row level security. Today we'll just enter a value. And as you'll see, we failed to enter the quotation marks for Africa, and so this filter fails. This immediately gives your user some feedback on how they're entering in the information. And now you'll see you have a filter called region with the little bottle filter icon. In order for multiple data sources to be seamlessly queried from one information map, data source join criteria needs to be stored. Click on the relationships tab at the top and then right mouse click on a table and select Insert Relationships. The two tables actually join on names.cont, C-O-N-T, to shoes.region. And you have a one-to-many relationship between these two tables. However, you will note that CONT is numeric and region is a character value, so we'll have to go to Advanced Edit to apply a format.